OnlineFenceStore.com How to install aluminum fencing and gates Always call 811 before you dig. Be sure to follow the 5 steps for safe digging. Tools needed Tape measure Level Marking paint Tamping slash digging bar Utility string Metal cutting saw and safety glasses Metal shears Drill with Phillips and hex driver bits Post hole digger For larger jobs, we recommend using a powered auger with a 6-inch diameter bit. Let's start by finding your property markers. Some HOAs may require a setback from your property line. Be sure to follow all local codes and regulations. Once you've found your property markers and established if you need a setback, run a string where your fence line will be. You can drive stakes into the ground to attach the string to. In this video, we're starting with gate posts. You can also start with an end or corner post. Dig the hole for the post. We recommend a minimum of a 6-inch diameter hole. Make sure that your holes are deep enough to extend below the frost line for your area. Note, your gate posts are twice as thick as the other posts. Space your posts for your gate width. Generally, you should set the gate posts 1 to 1 and 1 half inches wider than the actual gate width to accommodate for hardware. For example, if the gate measures 47 inches, set the posts at 48 to 48 and 1 half inches inside to inside. Put the posts in the holes and pack with concrete. Each hole will require 40 to 60 pounds of concrete. You can pre-mix or dry pack. You can read more on our website about mixing or dry packing concrete. Plumb the post in both directions. Continue to check for plumb while tamping. Once you have the first post set, work outward and mark 72 and 1 half inches center to center. These are your line post locations. To be certain that our post holes remain on center, we recommend only digging 4 to 5 holes at a time. Place your line posts in the holes and insert the fence panels into the posts. Using a level, check for plumb on each post as you add concrete. Don't worry if the fence looks uneven at this point. Because we dry packed our concrete, we can level the entire line once complete. If you decide to wet mix your concrete you will have to level as you go. Using the provided self-drilling post screws, attach the panels to the post. Once you get to the end of the line, you may have to cut the fence panel to fit into an end post, corner post or wall mounts. If you are attaching to an end or corner post, measure the distance between the posts. Add 1 and 1 half inches to the inside to inside measurement. This is the cut section length. Once cut, you will have to notch the cut end to fit into the end post. This is done by removing a 3 quarter by 1 8 inch piece from all the rails. For corner posts, you will have to remove the 3 quarter inch by 1 8 inch piece along with a 1 half inch piece from the rails. The 1 half inch piece allows both rails to fit into the corner post at the 90 degree angle. If you are attaching to wall mounts, hold a mount in place and measure the distance between the post and the inside of the wall mount. Add 3 quarters of an inch. This is the cut section length. When using wall mounts, there is no need to cut notches into the rails. Let's install a gate. Once your gate posts are set, attach the hinges to the post. Move the gate into position between the posts. Before attaching the hinges to the gate, line up the rails with any adjacent fence panel rails. Screw the hinges to the gate. You may have to raise or lower the gate posts to get correct alignment with the adjacent fence panels. Install the gate latch on the opposite gate post. With the gate latch installed, close the gate and align the gate strike. Center the strike in the gate latch and install. Now it's time to level the fence. Leveling should be done the same day the posts are set if you dry pack your concrete. 
If you wet mix the concrete you will have to level as you go. Start by eyeing the post line. Make adjustments in and out while checking for plumb. Check the post heights and raise or lower posts to match. This may take some time but is worth the effort to ensure that the finished fence looks great. Work on each post until you are happy with the final installation. Once complete, add your post caps, hose off any debris, and add water around the posts to start setting the concrete. We hope this video has helped and given you an idea of how to install an aluminum fence and gate. If you have any questions during installation of our products we are here to help. For contact information visit onlinefencestore.com. Be sure to visit our blog for additional resources and installation advice. Thanks for watching.